Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Mike with SmartOptionTrain.com. It is Wednesday, the 21st of February. This is our midweek update here. And uh, the market today has been a choppy mess overall as we well wait for NVIDIA earnings tonight. Uh, you can see here on the five-minute chart, we've had this push up. We've come back down, kind of this little head and shoulders pattern, mountain trade, whatever you want to call it. But the truth is here is you can see a very, very choppy tight range on the day. Here was the Fed minutes that came out. We got an initial reaction down, pushed up, gave it all back, put a new low of the day in here, and then popped back up here right into the uh, highs on the SPY. And overall, we've gone absolutely nowhere on very low volume. With less than 20 minutes to go, we've only traded 39 million shares on the day, and that has elevated from the last two hours compared to where we were. So the SPY is still here holding above the 21 day, but under the eight day. So we don't have much momentum left. This little uptrend, we've recaptured it. I have drawn in here. And you have this little flagging wedging pattern here. You can see we do have a higher low, right? So you, you have, a, I'm sorry, a lower high put in, but you still have a series of higher lows put in here also as we've yet to breach it. So the market still says we're still somewhat bullish, even though it's starting to feel like we're getting a pullback here and the market feels like it's ready to go. Uh, I missed out on this one. Some guys in the room, Frisk and others caught it today. IOVA, what a nice move the last few days. Qs, let's talk about the Qs. Qs have already broke momentum, lost the eight and the 21 day. So the Qs are saying, you know, uh, we're weaker here and we've seen that in the bigger tech names. The IWM has come back down and touched the 50 day here today, just missed it. The Dow has found its way to the 21 day as well and bounced there today. Financials continue to hold in well, uh, holding the eight day. Energy had a nice little bounce today. It's worth noting here today that the VIX, as of now, with 13, uh, 17 minutes to go, is closing back inside the Bollinger Bands. Typically, that is a risk on signal. So we'll keep an eye on this. When you look at what was in play today and the stuff, it was a very, very tough day. First of all, we saw names like Palo Alto just get absolutely crushed. Um, there was no bounce attempt on it. It's on the lows. It came down and kissed the 200-day. This is what we call price acceptance. Crowd and Zscaler are getting taken along for the ride, although we did call for a little bounce on Crowd. We got that one, Zscaler as well. Amazon news are going into the Dow next week. Not much action there. I caught a nice little trade on this on the gate, but that was it. Tesla was smothered in call buying on the open, and it gave a nice trade, you know, but you can't, you know, you got to pick your spot here. You know, when we were trading this today, you know, this market likes to sell pops, but it gave you know, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 minutes before it came back down. So you had time to trade this if you wanted it. You know, you just can't chase and you got to wait for your setup. You know, once this candle came down, it never gave a reason to get back into the long side up there until in this area where it came back up. So just put things in perspective. I know um, a lot of people chase. What we try to teach you here in this room is not to chase and how to trade these names. Apple's holding in barely by the skin of his teeth at 180 level. Google's remaining strong. It's at the highs of the day here going into the close above the 50-day. But let's face it, everybody's going to be, all targets are on NVIDIA tonight. NVIDIA is expecting a $70 move. That's about a little over 10% implied move on this thing. Um, I personally think that it's not likely to go all that far. And the reason I will say that is the last couple of earnings, the move on NVIDIA was very small. After this big move we had here, that was the first AI trade. You know, look at this one, you know, gap gapped up a little bit, not a big move. On this one here, actually gapped down slightly, though it was up higher pre-market. So again, I have low expectations for NVIDIA today. Um, is it a sell the news event? We don't know. We'll see what they have to say, and we'll go from there. So with that said, uh, we'll see what tomorrow brings. We'll see how the market reacts to whatever NVIDIA throws at us. Their earnings are 420. Their conference call, which will be key to listen to, is at 5 o'clock. If you want to join us, link in the description in the video below, smarttradingoption.com. And I hope you guys are all doing well. Members, if you need anything, please let me know.